Hello and welcome to your very own tailor-made auto show Green Signal. In every episode of Green Signal, I review a car and a bike and in today's episode in the car segment, you want to know which car we have for you? Just wait and watch. Alright, so the wait is over. The car that we have for you in today's episode of Green Signal is none other than Hyundai's baby. The Hyundai's baby car, Hyundai Eon. So let's get into the details of Hyundai Eon. Hyundai Eon is loosely based on Santro and the engine has been derived from the long-standing Epsilon engine. Now the design team has gone all out and has delivered a number of wedges and curves in the name of fluidic design that has given this machine a different styling which this end of the market hasn't seen so far. Hyundai's latest fluidic design has rubbed off well on the car and it comes across as a modern car which makes a style statement. The front has a typical hexagonal family grille and many may mistake it to be the item at the first glance. The headlamps swoop all the way back to the hood and prominent wheel arches are a part of the fluidic philosophy. The sports variant comes with triangular fork lamps. The Magna on the other side has provision to get it done as an aftermarket fitment. Bulging wheel arches add muscle and complement the design. The side has numerous sculpted lines which form the basics of the fluidic design. The waistline rises at the rear door to give a sporty modern look while the roof line slopes slightly towards the rear. Notice the integrated rear spoiler, it's standard across all variants. The rear bumper bulges outwards but it's a rear tail lamp cluster which looks gorgeous. High mounted stop lamp is integrated with the spoiler and there is no mistaking the Eon from behind. It may be misunderstood for the i10 up front but it has its own personality in the end, quite literally. The interiors of Hyundai Eon is by far the best in this segment. Never before in a car of this particular price point we have seen such good, extremely good quality interiors. Get inside the Hyundai Eon and it oozes of quality. Feel fresh interiors, great plastic quality and the two-tone beige and greyish black combination just enhances the appeal. No uneven panel gaps and fabulous fit and finish. It won't be out of place to mention that the Alto, the largest selling car in the segment, does not even come close to matching the quality. The hexagonal theme is carried onto the dashboard, which has a futuristic sporty design. A large storage area is placed above the glow box for odds and ends. The steering feels good to hold with a thumb rest. Notice the center of the dashboard. The central space has been catered to keep idles and is called the DT space by Hyundai. The top and sports variant get a three-spoke steering. The air conditioner is very efficient and chill the cabin in no time at all. Without any doubts, the AC is far more efficient than the competition. Both front and rear seats are a mix of fabric and art leather. The front seats incorporate an integrated headrest and are comfortable. Back support is adequate but due to the size of the car, the seat width is sufficient for an average built person and a heftier person might end up wanting for more width. A car of this segment cannot be expected to be an outright handler. But Hyundai Eon is a bit different. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised by the high speed stability of the car. At 110 km, the car was pretty stable, pretty smooth. Start the ignition and the engine settles into an idle. Engine vibration does creep inside the cabin due to the three cylinder motor, but it's not too much. Hyundai has incorporated a counterbalancer to keep the vibrations at bay. This three cylinder motor delivers reasonable performance but gets too loud at higher revs. NVH levels could have been better. Braking is by far the best in the segment. Though there is no ABS offered on the Eon, not even as an option, the brakes are crisp and bite easily. 
braking from 120 km per hour, the car was quite stable getting to zero, no sideways movement, stopping in a straight line. Overall impressive braking performance. The Eon is powered by a 3 cylinder 814 cc motor which churns out 55 bhp at 5500 rpm and 75 nm torque at 4000 rpm. It's effectively the 1.1 liter Santro engine Sansa cylinder. This not only cuts down the manufacturing cost but also gives the Eon class leading fuel efficiency of 21.1 km per liter which is ARAI certified. The Hyundai Eon has truly shaken up this segment in terms of customer satisfaction. Plus, it offers the best in class quality, fuel efficiency and truly modern styling and amenities as well. So I must say, in fact I can say that it's the best buy for the buck at this moment. That's it.